Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Polybridge where we will be attempting to do more than two levels. Fingers crossed we can do more than two. But this one I gotta tell you, looks tricky. Oh my days. Right. So, I've thought about this and I have some ideas on how we can do this. We need to get this car all the way over to this side and then back again. The problem is that car wants to go to the other side and back again but that's how many roads we got which presents a problem. So I have two ideas on how to do this. The first one is to make little gaps. This is something we have done before I'm pretty sure and what you do is sort of raise it up a little bit. That's a terrible example. Then it comes back down and then it goes up again like that. So this means the car going across would go up here and when it drops down it can go a little further across. So you might be able to make a bridge here with just like let's say five or so tiles but the problem is then you've got to switch back and come the other way and I don't know how to do that so what we're gonna do is use the tracing tool here to create a nice arc I believe we want this arc to come up to somewhere around there and let's fill this with roads now I am sort of wondering are these like the longest distance they could be no probably not so let's undo that undo it again Go back to the tracing tool. Let's try and make this a little bit more filled out, a little bit bigger. And we need to be left over with two roads. So each little adjustment, when we're left with two, we know that we've done it right. Still being left with one, two. There we go. So that should be a pretty filled out road. Now what I want to do with the two left over is something like this. Aha, like we did last time. You know where I'm going with this. So... Uh, hi, you don't really want to go too much closer there, do you? So we want this one to go across. It's going to push that out of the way. So there needs to be like uh, a rope coming downwards. Great, that'll work. Uh, I'll tell you what would work. That? <laughs> I really want to know. No, it wouldn't. Okay, and then on the opposite side, it's sort of the same, isn't it? Except there's going to be a hydraulics phase at some point. So let's see what happens here. A2 goes down, no problem at all, goes up. Oh, so really the flaps are just for the one at the bottom. Right, so the issue might be um, the timing between... Yeah, because this one's sort of like going to arrive in the middle same time as that one. Um, anyway, nothing's going to happen until we build some support. So let's do that. Let's make that one there uh, the middle. And then go across here. See, so we're playing about the grids. And I always wonder, are we doing it the best way? There we go. So there are some straight beams right there. I'm not actually sure that's a good thing, but that looks relatively sturdy. Uh, what we will definitely do though is take advantage of this and this over here and also this in the middle. So that should be really, really secure. That breaks, yes. Oh, that one dives. It nose dives into it. Hmm. Let's come up with a better system for these then. We weren't ready for a test at all, were we? Okay. Um, so we could probably make like a triangle shape. Oh, that's connected to the wrong thing. A tri oh no, actually, I don't think it was. Sort of a triangular thing like that. Maybe that could then connect up to the top as well for extra support and stability. Cool. And what I should really do, actually, is do the old clone, give it a little flip, smack it down there, and then connect it up. Okay, so... Let's see how that fares. That looks a lot better, but it's going to nosedive straight into that. Which isn't the worst thing ever, because it didn't really break it. I think we need some wood to reinforce um, these connections. Make them nice and sturdy. Okay, I believe our first problem here is solved by this, because when it needs to go back across, we can lower that down. Although, if you look at the distance here, it's not great. But that's about as far out as I can put this little bit here. Although, it could drop onto it more, I guess. It needs to go back up. And didn't do that a moment ago, so that's, that's progress progress enough except things are broken and that one didn't get to its destination up top. Probably because there's nothing holding that up. Uh, which is, how long has it been doing that for? Is that thing, uh, it doesn't really interfere with the car much. Okay. So what was the thing over here that I was supposed to change? Completely forgotten. <laughs> uh, anyway, what we will do is add a cable from there to there. Right, now let's see how it bears. Cool, so that one gets to go over that one, that's great, and oh yeah, that was the problem, it's a little bit too low, so we raise that up a touch, and then that one's not good enough either, we can see that. Oh, <laughs> I love the way it does that. Okay, 
we might have progress, but we are still getting a lot of that, you know, each time you run it, it runs slightly different. Okay, there we go. So that will pull that thing up. Is that what it was supposed to do? I think it was supposed to lower it down. Okay, so let's set that to expand, and then it's got to be... Yeah, I spent ages tweaking it so it would get across the other side. Now it's got to go the other way. Okay, and then that thing in the middle breaks, which is no good. Cool. Um, yeah, almost. No. <laughs> no is the answer. I think we're almost there. This needs a hydraulic as well, though. This needs one that actually contracts. So let's go roughly the same distance again. And rather than contracting to 50, just, just a little bit, because it seemed like it might snap when it did it before. Okay, is that going to be good enough? We're running at 200% here as well. Okay, so now that wobbles and it causes an issue down here, which I just spent ages trying to fix. Okay, more little tweaks and changes. The concept is the same. If it does it right, this one works really well. There you go. Terrific stuff. Now, what's the problem here is the timing doesn't work the other way. Let's actually put that on 100. So, this thing makes it to there, and then there's no, you know, one over the other. It just, it just bumps into it, and then that's that. And this guy can't even then get moving and go over there, which kind of sucks. This thing very nearly works, and what we're about to do may disrupt the whole tension distribution. Yeah, that's what it's called. Tension distribution. X knows his stuff. Right, we've got a cable here. This now goes all the way down to the bottom, and that stops it from snapping. And that's made a huge difference, as well as some steel here as well. So stability is up, and it might just work. This is it, the moment of truth. Okay, let's slow it down. Over you go. Does that... <laughs> Oh, it did that before. It looked like it might have enough to nudge that and then continue on its way. I think we just need this adjusted again. Let's... Oh, we are so close now. So close now. Oh, what more do we need? This needs to go maybe up a little bit more. Then this one needs to... How much is it? Like, it's going way too slack. Let's expand by, like, 20%. There, maybe more than that, actually. <laughs> Probably need about 40%. Alright, so yeah, I tweaked this up here, by the way. And it just meant that the when it goes off of here, it has a little bit more speed when it lands. And now I get stuck in the middle. Come on. Give me a break. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Number one. Number one! Number one! <gasps> oh! Oh, we did it! Oh my god, look at that budget! One ten thousand. And we got ourselves to the top. <laughs> Wow, I am saving this. I am saving this right now. Right. Uh, <laughs> epic. <laughs> Whatever. Gave it a name. It saved. Sweet. I I'm now wondering, could you reduce that score even more? I mean, that's the thing. But basically, I've sat here tweaking this over and over again, trying little bit after little bit, and then all of a sudden it just worked. Like that. Like all the adjustments, right? It's probably not going to do it again. Nope, it's going to be one of those ones where on occasion it will actually work. Maybe that's a good reason to like try each one a couple of times rather than just take the first run and accept it. There you go, different result. How many different results can we get? I want you guys to see the legit one. Yes, excellent. Number one on the leaderboard, fantastic. This next one is called Tight Thit and I think the level name is an accurate description of what's going on here. We're going to get A to A, these things are going to come through, and then E to E. And I think the way you do this is by lowering the road. So, there's our road, there is our split joints, and now what we're going to do is add... Oh, let's do this on the grid. Bam, like that. I don't know if that's enough to support a bus, I hope it is. Also, it's going to be bigger if I have it on the top. So actually, <laughs> this thing needs to come underneath, we'll do it the tricky way. And we'll drag it all the way down there for maximum support. There we go. That looks really good. Okay. Can that get the bus across? Would so probably be a good place to start. Yes, it can. No problems at all. Excellent. Right. So what I'm thinking is we have hydraulics to lower this down. And then we have hydraulics to pull it all the way up. Now, oh, we only have two. <laughs> uh, this might be a little bit more tricky than I initially thought. So here's, uh, here's an interesting idea. This can be pulled back like this, and look how close it goes to that other joint, and I was thinking, nope, you're dreaming. When you look at it like this, 
Uh, I just realised something. <laughs> when you look at it like this, it almost looks like that's a little bit higher than it is across. I could have just deleted the road and, you know, dragged them out like that. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, I've been playing with the grid on, so I'm thinking, can we squeeze a little bit extra out of that and get it to connect to this split joint here? Because if we can... Oh, I didn't see it connect. Now, I reckon there is like an optimal angle here where you get the most out of that hydraulics. And I think it's the further down you go. But it may also break. Oh, it connected. It absolutely connected. Okay, so... Would that then extend all the way back up there? I don't think so. Right, so this is where things get tricky because we've got to control the hydraulics phases. I think that one stays off immediately. Then it goes up here. So the next time the hydraulics activate... We want that one to be off, I think. And maybe that one as well, because we want it to stay welded. Yeah. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. This is cool. Man, this is a really good episode. I feel like we've had a, a massive victory already, and we might have another one. Oh! Okay, no. So what did we do wrong there? I turned one of them off. We turned off that one there. Is it... Okay, yeah, that's normal. But then I'm saying, no, it's on. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> uh, what are we trying to disconnect here? We're trying to disconnect those bits, but not that. Aha, so they're the wrong way around, and that one as well. Cool. All right, so now it should do what we want it to. Yep, up there you go. Connect, connect, bam, and then it's going to push out again. No. <laughs> no, it's not going to push out. Oh, what did I do wrong? So that phase, we also need the hydraulics. Right, apparently I turned that off. Come on, let's speed this up. We want to see it in action. Okay, so go the boat and... Hel that was a terrible sentence of English. <laughs> and it only goes that far this time. Wow, that was crazy. Alright, so maybe we need like a different hydraulics for the second bit. This is classy right here. <laughs> it really is. I think if we extend that, this thing gets pushed further over to the centre. Oh my god, this is so cool. This is, this is awesome. Alright. That's helping a little bit, but not enough. I think we have to go for the full 50. And if that doesn't work, I wouldn't be surprised, but it feels like we're on the right track at least. So that one, and this one, and now, moment of truth. Oh my god! No way! No way! 27th on the leaderboard, wow. And I tell you what that much lower. I wonder if you can get away with not using steel there. <laughs> Let's have a little tweak. The answer is no. No, it won't. You definitely need steel. So this next one looks really complicated, and look at the size of that right there. I believe the way you're going to do this one is with something diagonal like that, and then A is going to go to A. It's then going to twist to some hydraulic. C goes to C. If we have a look at this. A, then C, bridge goes through, and then they've got to come back again. Uh, we're not going to attempt it in this one, though. We've uh, we've pushed our luck. We've had a very easy run with tight fit, and uh, an awesome first place on the leaderboard with wanting roads. It's awesome. It's awesome. I love it. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode, leave a like. As always, thank you for your support, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.